What have you done to prepare for um, your wife and your kids to survive and even thrive after you pass, after you die? So I've spent, uh, for, my, for my wife and my kids, I think the prim primarily I've spent a lot of time with my, with my wife and have spent a lot of time um, talking through um, what it would be like um, to live in the house that we have without me. Um, you know, one of the things that we, we realized early on is that all of a sudden we're starting to have conversations that we never imagined we would have. Um, and we started to work our way through some of those conversations. Um, and one of the things that I'm responsible for in the house is all the maintenance stuff outside, all of the Boiler, uh, or yeah, the heater, you know, HVAC stuff, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, all of the um, contractors that we have coming in and out, all that kind of stuff. Um, not that we have a ton of it, but that's all me, right? right? Um, and so I started to intentionally not do some of that and have her do it and help her, you know, figure out, okay, this is how, this is how you do this. Um, and, and that was healthy and good. Um, I went through, um, all the systems inside the house and said, Hey, okay, well, we might be replacing this a few years early, but so be it. It's going to be brand new now. Um, and, uh, you know, we replaced uh, a bunch of stuff so that um, she wouldn't have to worry about it. 